throughout this week as this whole thing has played out between myself and Cody Rhodes. And by the way, you're welcome. You're welcome for what? You know what you're welcome for. You're welcome for one of the most interesting things you're going to get in professional wrestling in 2018, no matter what side of the fence you fall on. With, of course, a tip of the cap to Booker T and Corey Graves. Once again, you're welcome. There's been one issue, though, one topic that I've been wanting to discuss, waiting to discuss, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about it today. And that is this community of dirt sheets. These even want to be dirt sheets. How the hell are you even classified as dirt sheets? Like Wrestling Inc. and Raj Geary and people like him and websites like Wrestling Inc. They are garbage. Pure, flaming, stinking, steaming piles of fake news, alternative facts. Garbage. Flat out garbage. These Mark ass websites created by Marks just like me who get their primary sources of content from three places. Number one, other idiotic fans who are so giggly tits about being able to create articles and post content about professional wrestlings that they'll give that shit away for free because why in the hell should anybody be compensated for their time? Number two, garbage ass interviews with wrestlers that we don't care about. Or number three, worst of all, taking the actual legit news, legit rumors, legit backstage gossip that is being discovered reviewed, released by individuals like Dave Meltzer, Mike Johnson, Wade Keller, a few others, and repackaging that, citing it, but really in all intents and purposes, selling it as their own information. Like when I hear people talk about somebody like a Wrestling Inc. being a dirt sheet, what in the hell are you talking about? They don't come up with these stories. They don't have these sources. They are bullshit. Pure, unadulterated bullshit. And I'm tired of seeing these hacks these quacks, these jackoffs, sit there and be able to get away with it. And it didn't surprise me at all. I figured predictably, because that's how pathetically predictable these crappy ass wrestling news sites are. News my ass. Garbage is what they are. Pure, stinking garbage. I knew eventually there was going to be some type of article done about the back and forth between myself and Cody Rhodes. And I ultimately knew... I knew because of the lack of journalistic integrity of the people involved with these sites. Because I knew, I knew how these jokers operate. Because I knew what the hell these guys were all about. I already knew what was going to happen. They were going to post my tweet, post Cody's response, and try to package it as if it was some great victory for him. He pooned me. He owned me. Ah, bullshit! The real story is, is somebody that should know better, somebody that's supposed to know better, somebody that's been with the WWE for years, somebody that's been in professional wrestling for years, somebody that's the son of one of the greatest baby faces in professional wrestling history in the Immaculate Dusty Woj should damn well know better. And here's some random Jamo freaking wrestling fan who does a crappy show here on YouTube owning his ass six ways from fucking Sunday. But of course you're not going to hear that. Of course you're not going to see that. You're not going to sit there and see any of my responses to him. You're not going to see the consistent evidence that I provided, the logic that was used, the specific examples given to totally and completely refute his points and absolutely own his ass. You're not going to hear one goddamn thing about it. You're not going to sit here and hear about how Cody Rhodes said something unnecessary to a fan when the original tweet didn't call for that response to begin with. No, instead, it's an example of these high and mighty bush willy bullshit pricks trying to sit there and get their jollies, trying to disassociate themselves from other freaking fans. And believe me, I try to go down that path and at the end of the day, it really doesn't fucking work, I promise you. You're still a fan. Just like I am. But I promise you, I don't do bullshit like this. To sit there and post specifically Wrestling Inc. Talking about how Cody Rhodes owned. Cody o. Rhodes doesn't own shit. He might be the son of the American dream, but I'm his daddy. And over the past couple of years, I've proved it. And all I need is an address somewhere to send him some OTR Essential shirts to make up for all the birthdays I fucking missed. 
There is nobody, when you look at this in a vacuum, and you just post that information there, don't attribute it to anybody, don't attach any names to it. I clearly won. Like, how is this even up for debate or discussion? And yet, a couple of days later, there are still people trying to come at me, and time after time after time, they all get put down. And the reason being is because I have logic and facts and evidence on my side. I don't have to sit there and pull a wrestler card to try and duck, weave, and dodge. But that's what Cody Rhodes did. But of course, all of these sites will only report what they want to report. And why is that? Because you want to sit there and distance yourself from that because you're trying to make people like me look bad. Believe me, number one, nobody's ever going to make anybody like me look bad more than myself. You couldn't begin to make me look any worse than I have. So I ain't intimidated by that bullshit. I'm not scared of that bullshit. I'm not going to tuck my tail between my fucking legs and run away like some of these other punk-ass pussies in the wrestling community. You come at me, I'm going to come at you harder. I'm a slayer, motherfucker. And to sit there and post this type of hot garbage and not provide the full and complete context is the type of spin that I would expect from a Fox News or an MSNBC. I would hope that these freaking marks just like me would have more sense than that, but ding dong, that's wrong. Ding dong, dumb dicks, what else would I expect? But to make it really bad, because ultimately it's more fun and more clickbait worthy to post something and put it in there that X wrestler name owned this fan this exchange, and we will always present it in a way that makes the wrestler look really good, when eventually, time after time after time, that said wrestler is refuted, time after time after time, the individual, in this case me, has consistently come back with evidence up to and including the shit that Cody Rhodes has said himself! And the fact you still refuse to report it, you still refuse to talk about it, you don't issue a retraction, a clarification, a correction, none of that indicates to me that you don't care that you are absolute garbage. And that's exactly what the hell you are. Chop shops that rip off most of the backstage news and rumors from the people that actually bother to put in the real hard work to get sources like a Dave freaking Meltzer. You know, he sits there and cucks up to the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, Cool, whatever, who gives a crap? Don't take him seriously when he talks about New Japan. But don't sit there and try to diminish him and discredit him because he's getting this information from somewhere because he's put in over three decades of work to be able to have those sources to provide the news that you rip off from him. And then, to top it all off, of course, I knew this was going to happen. Once Cody Rhodes made his baseless false allegation against me and continues to run with it, continues to lie, which we are now discovering is a pattern, a trend. Cody Rhodes seems to want to be known as a pathological liar because everything I've seen over the past few days indicates he's a liar. He was either a liar a couple years ago or he's a liar now. Either way, he's a fucking liar. And then he makes a baseless false allegation against me. And even what is brought to these sites' attention, like Wrestling Inc. and these pieces of shit like Raj Geary. You want to know how many articles are run? You want to know how many stories are written up about this? Zero! Nobody taking Cody Rhodes to task. Nobody asking a real journalistic question that you would expect from an actual journalist. And I should have known better. And I did know better. Because none of these hacks, these jabronis, these fucking chop shop garbage ass rip off artists can we ever be confused with anything closely resembling journalism. I realize you're writing stories and have a website dedicated to professional wrestling. But we can have some standards here. We can have some consistency here. We can have some attempt to tell a full and complete, more accurate story. And we don't. We don't want to provide context because we want to make people look stupid. But in my opinion, in this particular case, you made yourselves look fucking stupid. Like even Bullet Club fans, even diehard Cody Rhodes fans, which, by the way, I had always been a Cody Rhodes fan. Thank you very much. Agree with me. But you won't post that. You won't write about that. You won't talk about that. Because you fucking suck and you know it. I can't believe people go to these garbage ass sites and feed this. 
I can't believe people go to these garbage ass sites and support these people. I can't believe that wrestling fans go to these sites and actually label them as dirt sheets. What the hell dirt are they slinging? What the hell makes them a dirt sheet? They're taking other people's information and prostituting it out there for their own financial gain. Like me or not, at least I have my own content. At least I create my own things. I do my own videos. I do my own stories. I do my own things my own way, whether you like it or not. But not somebody like Wrestling Inc. Not like that cocksucker Raj Jiri. Jiri, whoever the fuck, however the fuck you say his name, it doesn't matter how you say his name. Because he's a punk. And he's a bitch. And he's a coward for sitting there and running misleading false headlines and not choosing to run corrections, not choosing to provide a more complete, accurate story. Because why? Because he's ultimately just a fucking mark that doesn't want to sit there and ruin my opportunity for a freaking golden ass, freaking lame ass interview with somebody like Cody Rhodes. So I'll let them say and do whatever the fuck they want. Because please, Cody, I love the Bullet Club. Your Bullet Club balls feel so good on my chin. Your Bullet Club boner feels so good and tastes so great and yummy in my mouth. Give me a fucking break. Fuck Wrestling Inc. Fuck Raj. Fuck any of these other sites that do this type of shit. Because they're garbage. And all of you know it. They want to make people look stupid. And in the process, all they do is make themselves look stupid. I'll be damned if I ever visit another one of those fucking sites ever again. You can kiss my fucking ass. Period. And by the way, if you ever want a cure for insomnia, go to any of those reviews that they do on Wrestling Inc. They will put you to sleep real fast. Because they suck. They absolutely suck. These fanboys, these fucking cucks, these fucking kiss asses. I ain't got time for that shit. People can like what I say, people can not like what they say. I don't give a shit what they like or don't, don't like when it comes to what I say. But at least I'm going to call it. At least I'm not going to kiss ass. At least I'm not going to sit there and put my dignity at stake and sit there and pretend something to be a reality when it totally isn't. Go fuck yourselves. And if you continue to support these garbage ass chop shop wrestling wannabe dirt sheets that rip off their content from other wrestling fans, get their lame ass interviews, and then sit there and also rip off their information from Meltzer's and the real insiders of professional wrestling, then you can fuck right off too.